This tutorial will show you how to view and complete an assignment in Blackboard. Here is an example of a Blackboard assignment. I can tell this is an assignment because of its icon. This is a mathematical tool called a compass, and all assignments in Blackboard have a compass icon like this one. It lets students know their teacher has assigned them something to complete and submit. Let's take a closer look at this assignment. The name is Chapter 1 Vocabulary Practice. As you can see, there is a link to a worksheet that has been attached for the students to complete. According to these directions, the teacher specifies how the students should name their completed worksheets when they save them. This is the outside of the assignment, and we do see some helpful information about it. We don't, however, see all the information about this assignment, so we will click on the assignment name and open it up to find out more. This is the Upload Assignment screen. As I scroll down the page, you should see that it is divided into three different sections. For this particular video, we will focus only on the top section. It is called Assignment Information. It shows the assignment name and instructions, again, that we saw earlier on the outside of the assignment. It also shows the due date and the points possible that students can earn for completing the assignment correctly. In addition, there is another link to the worksheet for students to use if they would like to download and save it to their computer from here. As I mentioned earlier, we won't be looking at the other two sections of the screen during the video. We will look at those during the next video. It will demonstrate how to submit assignments in Blackboard. Let's select the Cancel button at the top of the screen and return to the outside of the assignment. Here is the link to the worksheet that we saw earlier. I can use it to download the worksheet and save it to my computer where I can complete it online using my computer. I will show you how that is done later in this video. I will right click on the worksheet link and when the drop down menu appears I will choose the save link as. As you can see the save window has popped up. I need to locate where I want to save this worksheet on my computer. A tip for you to follow is to go ahead and create a folder on your computer for each of the subject areas you are studying in CBA. A good place to save these folders would be either on your desktop or in your documents. You will need to decide which location works best for you. A good way to keep all of the subject area folders organized is to create them inside one main folder. You can name this folder CBA. I have already created a language arts folder and it is located inside my one main CBA folder. I will browse my computer to locate this target folder. I saved it in Documents, Public Documents. Here is my main CBA folder. I will open it and here's my language arts folder. I will open it. Now that I have located and opened the folder, I will save the worksheet how the teacher instructed. I will name it with my first name, last name, and the assignment name. I will go down to the bottom of the page and locate the file name field and I will highlight the previous name and name it correctly for the teacher. First, last, and assignment name. I will keep this, the worksheet type as an Adobe Acrobat document. This is a PDF document. I will choose Save. You'll notice that I'm using Firefox and the download dialog box has popped up and now it shows here is my newly saved worksheet and I saved it correctly for the teacher. I can either open it here or I can go find it in the folder where I saved it in my documents, but I'm not going to do that. It's much easier to open it from here, so I'll double click. And here is the document, and it's opening. You can see this is a PDF document. It should look similar to many of the different worksheets and documents your teachers will be assigning you throughout the year. It has 
a special tool enabled called a typewriter tool and you can see that it is up here in the purple section at the top of the worksheet. I can select that tool and then place my cursor where I want to input my answers and I can type them in. The vocabulary worksheet says to reprint the vocabulary words on the lines provided. So I will place my cursor where I would like to type. So I will just repeat the word that I'm studying, morale, and then I can take my cursor and place it on the next area where I'd like to type. This word is elaborate. So I will type it in. And that's how you can complete your worksheets or other documents that are assigned and they have the typewriter tool enabled. Let's pretend that I've already finished the entire worksheet. If I have, I can just choose the Save button, which is the little floppy icon at the top of the screen, and I can save it, and then it's ready to submit. But let's say I have not finished the entire document like this. I can still save it, so I will choose that little floppy icon, and it says Save File. And the nice thing is, I can come back and open it up and continue typing in my answers until I'm finished and then I can submit it to the teacher. This video showed you how to view and complete a Blackboard assignment that included a worksheet that students had to complete online using the typewriter tool. Submitting an assignment in Blackboard will be covered in the next video that you should watch. It is called Working with Assignments Part 2.